Venus in Sagittarius, what is it? Why is it important? What does it have to do with your relationships? This is what I would love to talk about in this video. By the way, welcome to my channel. I am Lermar and I'm all about becoming the best self and inspiring you to become the best self. And in this video, I would love to talk about astrology. So if you have this position, you're going to be able to learn what kind of relationship needs you have, how you can be best fulfilled in any relationships, both romantic, intimate, or work business relationships, because Venus is all about interpersonal relationships. Before I get started, I want to say thank you so much for your engagement, like liking, subscribing, commenting, and sharing. By the way, I love reading your comments, so make sure to leave the comments below if you want to engage with me. And we are co-creating this experience together, so thank you so much. Giving is equally joyful as receiving. That's what I think. Anyway, without further ado, let's get started. So Venus and Sagittarius. Venus is the planet of love and relationship. Sagittarius is all about expansion, knowledge, higher meaning in life and philosophy and any theoretical ideology that helps you see the forest, helps you see the big picture and helps you patternize all the events happening in the world. So, if you have Venus in Sagittarius and relationships, you have this need to have a higher meaning. You need to be able to find the meaning in your relationships. You would love philosophizing, spirituality, higher knowledge of any sort, for that reason, you would be attracted to someone who is knowledgeable, who is wise, who can advise you to the right direction and who can impose you positivity because Sagittarius is all about optimism and joy. So your, your relationship has to be fun and joyful, adventurous and exciting. Sagittarius is the third fire sign and it's one of the most exciting and it can be very wild. In relationship, you will be very fulfilled when you're allowed to travel around both physically and mentally. So it's very important that you can share ideological beliefs with your partner. Both you and your partner tend to be very liberal and open-minded. Very, very few people who has this position has xenophobia. You're very allowing. Your partner would be very allowing as well, permissive and open to all types of cultures because he or she would love to expand their horizon. Yeah, so you would be attracted to someone who is intellectually stimulating, knowledgeable, wise philosophical, spiritual. You would love to have fun and express your love. That being said, you may not be so much into details and practical stuffs. Sagittarius is all about big picture and it's one of the most lucky signs. So unless you have challenging aspects to Venus, you would be very lucky in relationships and your partner would be pretty lucky, especially if you're a man. Venus represents female in your life. It could be your spouse, girlfriend, or just female friends. They would have Sagittarius qualities. They would love freedom. Oh, yes, in relationship, you need freedom. You need to be allowed to have this freedom. Sagittarius is all-inclusive, so you can be very permissive and allowing, sometimes overly allowing, and your partner can share these qualities as well. And depending on where Venus is located, 
in which house it's placed, things will play out differently. But at the bottom line, you'll love freedom, expanding your horizon, awareness, consciousness, and you'll love learning in general, traveling. And another thing uh, you need to be, you would have this internal guidance systems when it comes to moralistic principle. So it's important that you meet such partner who can share this quality with you. You would love having physical exercise in relationships like hiking, camping, horse riding, Sagittarius rules outdoor sports. It's very active and wild. Uh, yeah, so I think that's about it. And let me know how you think. I want to turn it over to you. What did you resonate with the most? I would love to hear from you. And if you like this video, like this video and consider subscribing to my channel, hitting the bell button so you can get a notification every time I post a new video. And I hope you have a great day. Thank you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.